one arm kettlebell swing. One of the first things to note about this is you don't have to drop a lot of weight when you move from the two arms to the one arm kettlebell swing because it's a lot of your hips doing the work anyways, it's not your arm. So people that try to drop you know, two or three different colors or drop down half the weight, that's not sufficient. You need, you need the same weight, if not just a little bit less when you pick your kettlebell one arm swing weight. Now, another thing you're gonna notice is you're not straight up, straight down as if you would be in a normal kettlebell swing. You are gonna load one hip up a lot more than the other. So if it's in your left arm, you load up the right hip. Another thing is your arm is going to simultaneously be firing with the kettlebell. So you can counteract that weight and help you get out of that hip joint. So, looks like this, still gonna keep the chest up, but you're turning, loading up one side more than the other. Still a hip hinge, so you're still moving the hips backward as if you wouldn't get a swing, loading the hamstrings, but you gotta get a lot more glue because you're really going with that heel, leaning to one side, whichever side you're on, you know, you're really gonna be getting that glute activating a lot further. Plus you gotta turn into this one, so this actually can help out people with lower back issues because it's not that straight up, straight down movement. That little turning sensation, or that turning movement, helps them keep it off their lower back and engage the right muscle groups.